Now that we know that the camera is working, I just spoke to my friend Aliana, she has that free day today. So we gotta meet up and go somewhere to have some shoot uh, outside. This time, I'm not only going to worry about testing the camera, the camera is working. Now, let's really take pictures and see what is the best we can get from this camera and see if it was worth it or not. After all, it was a 40 euros camera. Let's see how long she's gonna take to come down. So this here is our 40 euros camera, the Fujika, okay? Uh, when I got this camera, this camera originally came with three different lenses. 135, one, uh, 70 to 210, pretty big, bulky lens, okay? and this 35 to 135 millimeters. The problem that I had is that for me, for my taste, the lenses were a bit too long and I was missing something that I could get a bit closer. So I found on a thrift shop around the corner here from my place, uh, 50 millimeters, 1.9 uh, lens pretty beat up, but working just fine, working just fine. So I managed to get this lens for 20 euros from the thrift shop, not a bad buy at all. Yeah, so we went out for a shoot with Aliana to, you know, to see what else this camera was able. And I have to say that I'm extremely happy with it. The camera is working absolutely fine, uh, the lenses seems to be working. The only problem is this uh, 3535 that it's uh, it's broken. It it's not working, but it's not a big deal. It's all fine. And uh, and yeah. So when I went out with Aliana, I decided that I was going to shoot with a black and white film. My choice of film was based on, on a few reasons. One reason is the fact that, you know, I can come home, develop the film and have it quick for, for the videos. But also to the fact that, okay, uh, the first test with the camera was pretty quick, was pretty just to make sure that it was working and that everything was fine with the camera. But now I wanted to do something a bit more. I wanted to really try to push the, the camera to see how, which kind of results we, we would get, how good or how bad it would be. Everything on the camera seemed to be working absolutely fine. I didn't have a problem with anything. 
all these speeds seem to be accurately. The lenses, even though they are beat up and, and stuff, it was good. I confess that for me, it was a bit difficult to use the zoom lens. You know, it's heavy, bulky. Maybe it's better off used on the on a tripod or in other situations. But especially with the 50 mi- with the 50 millimeters, it, it it was all fine. And I have to say that I really like the results. You know, no, the camera is delivering everything that was expected from it. The conclusion that we can get from this right now is that, yeah, you can get a cheap camera. You can go out there and try to find something that it's uh, reasonably priced, buy it and get good, good results. There are a lot of people out there saying that, oh, you have to get this camera, you have to get that camera. Oh, you know, that the best camera for, you know, for this price or that. And I truly don't believe that this is actually true. I believe that if you know a little bit how to look for your camera and you you pay attention to a couple of things, uh, you know, they're going to work. They're going to work. There is no, no problem. And... Uh, My urge to you is that take your camera out, load a roll of film, and go shoot. Don't hold yourself down because you don't have this specific camera or that camera or because you don't have the money to buy the Leica or the Nikon. And by no means I'm saying that you shouldn't buy these cameras if you have the money. Yeah, go for it. I would right? But what I'm saying is that please don't hold yourself down. Don't uh, uh, refuse to go and try shooting and develop your photography because of your equipment. Your equipment is secondary. Your equipment is a tool. Having the more expensive or the cheapest one, the limitations Uh, 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 a lot smaller when you limit yourself for your photography. Put your creativity down, go and use it. Go get your camera and shoot. Oh, but I don't have this or that. Go and do it. If you cannot get like a 20 euros lens that you can quickly go get it and, you know, fine. But... If I couldn't find that lens, you know, I, I, I would be shooting with this 135 all day long. You know, it's not about the lens, it's not about the camera, it's not. It's about you, and your creativity and your willingness to actually learn the craft. Film photography sounds sometimes a bit intimidating by all the, 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 the technical aspects of, of the camera, of the film, of development, but... You have to go out and try it. Buy a cheap camera or expensive. Buy your your film stock, color, slide, black and white. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is to be out with this and shooting and putting your creativity. That is the important thing. Your creativity to work your creativity for the photography. That is what is important. No equipment will ever surpass your capacity and your creativity on photography. That I can tell you for sure. So yeah, don't restrain your creativity over the equipment or over any sort of external things that are not you and what you want to express with your film photography. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave in the comments your thoughts about, uh, about that, about your camera, about your film, about what you would like to hear from, from the channel, and, and, you know, please help us to grow. Uh, that would be very much appreciated. For the time being, stay safe. See you next time. Bye.